welcome to the newborn exam for the student midwife. This is the second DVD in our series. This DVD is divided into four parts. The first part is the basic newborn exam. The second part is the basic reflexes of our newborn. The third part is the gestational age assessment which is divided into two sections, the neurological assessment and the external assessment based on the signs that we will discuss. The fourth part is a basic run-through of the newborn exam by Barbara Barta, registered midwife. This infant is three days old and what we will do at the end is show you the newborn exam from the beginning to the end so that you can see how the midwife incorporates all the things that we are talking about the neurological exam, the external exam, the basic newborn exam and the reflexes as she goes down from head to toe. She starts at the newborn's head and she works her way down doing all of the different assessments. So it, even though we break it down in this DVD into many different segments you won't necessarily be doing it in those kind of chronological order based on these different um, outlines. You will go down and do it as you come to that part of the body. And so it's not, it's a flowing kind of a thing. And it's really important for you to have a set order that you do things every time. So that when you're doing a newborn exam, you don't miss anything or skip anything. If you develop a set routine where you work from, say, from the head down to the toe and you do everything in a set order, you'll find that you don't miss things and you're able to quickly and uh, efficiently do your newborn examination. We hope you enjoy the series. Keep in mind, when preparing to do the gestational age assessment, you will want to gather the medical history of the mother. How was her pregnancy? Did she take medication? How was the labor and delivery? Did she use medication during the labor? How did the fetus respond to the labor? What about initially postpartum? Did the newborn require resuscitation? Was there meconium staining? And what were the APGAR scores? All that information is important to gather before you begin the gestational age assessment.